Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is this should be a continuation of episode 305. Uh, the problem was that in 305, I, that's why this this quest is so buggy. Uh, I, we were dropped to our uh, tabletop screen, our PS4 tabletop screen, and and so. I have good thing uh, when we went into the tunnels, uh, it did an auto save. So I'm loading it from the auto save. Anyway, let's call this uh, episode 306, uh, uh, Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. So, yeah, welcome back to Bargain Gaming, uh, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, so, anyway, so again, the, the loading part. Uh, it's very slow. Maybe I have to really go and scrap all the. Uh... We have picked up. S we have picked up so many items uh, spread all throughout, all throughout our settlements, and they might be causing the system to be uh, <laughs> overloaded. Okay, anyway, uh, maybe this uh, having to reload the game again uh, from our, what do you call this, from our autosave, it actually might uh, allow us to trigger the next encounter. Maybe it might treat it as another, uh, as a, you know, because we're, we, we reloaded, uh, I don't know, because the, the game dropped and maybe, I don't know, so... <laughs> whatever works right anyway so again that's why this 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 quest is actually pretty buggy but we want that uh that gatling laser and so this is the yeah this is the poor fellow that uh, uh happened to walk in and <laughs> didn't know what hit him okay uh why is there a door? Oh, yeah. There's supposed to be a door there that leads outside. Maybe it's at the, it's on. Yeah, I think it's on the second floor. Okay, let's get out of here. Back to Nuka World, and if it doesn't trigger the uh, siren or the alarm, then uh, we need to go back uh, to Commonwealth, and because uh, because of the uh, of being dropped, so I really don't know what uh, to expect and. Uh, if the alarm triggers, that itself might not, might not, uh, nope, we didn't trigger any alarm. Yep, no alarms this time. If you ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Okay, so, uh, I guess we just need to go to the Commonwealth. Yeah, going back. Yeah, uh, so I would. I think it would be a good idea to drop uh, Paladin Dance in uh, Pride One, and then relay into the Institute, uh, pick up the Doctor, and then relay directly into. Uh, Wait, let us uh, relay uh, directly into the mass fusion clinic or mass fusion. And uh, because uh, by doing that, uh, the Brotherhood will automatically aggro against us. And so that uh, we will not have a very angry Paladin dance in the Red Rocket. So hopefully when we relay into the Institute, Paladin Dance will be waiting on the Pride Pride Wind, waiting for us when we relay back out because that's where he will meet us. But if we relay directly into the Mass Fusion, I hope he doesn't, because by going by relaying directly into the Mass Fusion, that creates the aggro already from the from the. Uh, we saw that in the in the earlier ep in the last ep in the previous episode episode, and so. Um, Hopefully, we don't have to do a uh, 
face to face fight with him because he will be uh, easily recognized by the uh, lack of helmet all the other uh, armored knights or paladins that we will be uh, going up against will have uh, will be wearing helmets I guess that's it, right? I think I don't think we picked up any any junk from that guy, no. Nope. Okay, we can pick up more water here. Uh I wait, is he carrying any awaiting your command? Is he no, he's not carrying anything. Okay. So again, water is the uh, best uh, currency we can have in this game. And we have over 300 water every time we come to uh, Sanctuary. And then uh, the Tappington Both House, we have over 200 there. So we're talking about 500, over 500. And then Nord Hagen, we have like 400. So we were talking about 900. And then about uh, about 100 at the uh, castle. Where is the castle? Another 100 at the castle. And another 200 at the uh, Warwick Homestead. So that's 1,000 at the castle. And then 200 at the Warwick Homestead. So we're talking 1,200. And then another 300 here in Spectacle Island. So we're talking about 1,500 purified water. And each one is selling for about 11 caps. So that is a lot of money. We, we, have, we now generate a lot of money. And then also in the, um, in the uh, Far Harbor, we have uh, Old Longfellow, about roughly about 200. And then... Uh, the the settlement to the north uh, another 200 and then uh, echo lumber another 200 so that's at least 600 or maybe 700 all 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 in all total so we have we have like 2200 uh, purified water every day that is being generated so we are not hurting for cash so i consider that's why i still consider that as the best uh money generating uh venture in in this in the in in the universe of fallout 4 purified water and then we can always add another another uh this uh water distiller uh th those large ones that that pump out like 40 uh 40 units of water per day so uh, again, the key to make sh uh, to make sure that the workbench uh, spawns the water being produced. Uh, it has to all kinds of water, dirty water, whatever, has to be removed from the workbench so that it will spawn a new batch. If there is any water left there, it will not. It's not a cumulative thing. So it's a good thing they did it that way because if it's a cumulative cumulative thing like uh then you know the i think the system will crash because can you imagine we're spawning like 2200 every day and <laughs> and if we don't collect it you a sheep or a wolf because the pack okay so apparently we have to go to the uh uh go out to the commonwealth and then go through the uh let's see i'm i'm trying to see the uh, through the cola 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 cars cola cars uh, segment uh, up to the tunnels before we we crashed. So I don't know. I have, but uh, since we are here and we have, I swear. I, I wonder if they have restocked. Hey, Caitlin, found some pretty good stuff while I was out on the road. Interesting. I'll take a look. Sure. 
Oh. Yeah, she has respawned. Uh, okay, so we need to give her... Where is... Oh, we should be... About 700. So we really care about is the fusion course. We have enough ammo for 762. Okay, let's uh, let's give him our water first, just to find out how much we can buy, and then uh, let's get the fusion course. So, oh, we cannot buy as much. Uh, wow, he's got a lot. That's 1,500. So we need to buy about 1,000 caps worth. So we can get his cash. So we're building a pile of cash. We have 173 caps now. <laughs> okay, uh... Now let's go to the cola of cars. Not looking for trouble, just just some good deals. Feel kind of bad for these traders having a weird call like that. Look at it, chill. So if not, uh, yeah. So I, I'm just trying to rush through the uh, spawn process so that uh, if if it doesn't yield that one uh and and we have to spend really surreal some real time in the commonwealth rather than just porting there and coming back uh i i will i will just i will do it on my i will not record those uh until we get to the uh i will not post the uh, the things i've been doing uh, to spawn the uh rogue knight but one the, uh, what i will just post will be the episode that actually spawns the rogue knight so yeah because uh it will be a lot of repetition i don't know how many repetition but i presume there will be at least a number of repetitions before the rogue knight will spawn so cola cars uh let me do a, a save a hard save here so that it, if in case it uh, drops us again, uh, that will that's that's okay. But the thing is that at least we got a process going. I mean, uh, the process about uh, challengers to our crown is the process of ch spawning challengers to our crown is now uh, working. Hopefully, uh, when we were dropped to the uh, desktop that did not uh, glitch the whole process I hope not Because in theory, uh, we need to spend some real hard, uh, real time in the Commonwealth before this thing resets, I mean, responds. Uh, so people on the net have indicated that just going th partially through, through the last stages of the gauntlet and coming back out on Nuka-Cola uh, will automatically uh, spawn the next challenger. So. I'm trying to see if I can make that happen. Uh, like I said, I've I've never played this part before, so I really don't. I'm just relying on what I read on the internet. Uh, I we we I'm looking for an air area where we would be able. I, I'm yeah. I'm keeping an eye out for another potential area where we can loot lock. So anytime I find 
a loot lockable area. Why did we we got kicked to the side? Uh, a potential loot lock uh, location. Uh, I will post it. So right now we have four, and so that should uh, that should help you guys in terms of getting at least four weapons of choice that you have in mind. You know, uh, like what I was thinking is that the uh, 762 handmade rifle explosive variety uh, is my weapon of choice that that I love that weapon that is very good okay I don't think we have to go through here I think this is it yeah let's just go back okay get out of our face and I have not worked on the uh, I have not tried the uh, minigun explosive uh, and then the the one we nev we did not get yet is a western revolver instigating and a, a ghost rifle instigating we do have the two shot ghost rifle um, so i wasn't i was not patient enough to actually farm for an instigating until i got one uh, because the two shot apparently is an easier drop rather than the instigating I should have I should have taken our uh, my time, uh, but that's uh, we can't really totally control the game. So anyway, uh, the two shot is pretty strong anyway. So uh, it's still good enough. So if it doesn't uh, blare out the, uh, then that's okay. Um, uh, I will go and drop Paladin Dance off at the Predwin. And then we can uh, continue with the main storyline. So my interest in that one is prim primarily because like <laughs> an unlimited Gatling laser. Hey, what's bad about that one? And number two is that, yeah, since I, you know, I would like to get that. I would like also to share the, uh, that episode with you guys so that you, uh, when, if you decide to play the game, you will know how to get it. So hopefully the alarms would start going off. If it does not, then uh, <laughs> it, it'll have to be, I guess it's just a random spawn. So, but if it goes off, then we know that that would be an effective way to, s nope. Oh, it did. A moral combat, yes, yes. See, that's the alarm. Okay, so do we need to talk to Frisk again? Got another one coming through the gauntlet, boss. Fritch is waiting for you. Okay, so that was I. I wasn't able to record that in the previous episode, uh, but now we can. Okay. Now we can, okay, where is Frisk? Oh, we have to highlight that, Amoral Combat. Okay, where is he again? Okay. Okay, he's over here, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, should we have taken that token? Oh, yeah, we should uh, bring real money here so that we can get the... Oh, those are tokens. They're not medallions. Oh, I keep... Okay, let's talk to Frisk again. you heard the alarm, huh? Well, you know the deal. 
You want to take down another worthless wastelander? Yeah, of course. Time to put on a show. Hell yeah! No better way to earn a raider's respect than kicking some ass in front of a crowd. Just head for the arena whenever you're ready, boss. Okay, so so apparently we can. Uh, so the internet was accurate in that regard. So we go to the Commonwealth, come back in, go through the uh, initial gauntlet into the tunnels, but up to the tunnels, and then come back out, and immediately we will respawn the next uh, challenger. So let's uh, go and um, fight this guy, and then... Uh, I will continue to go through the process until the uh, Rogue Knight spawns. And when it spawns, I will upload that specific episode. So I will continue to record those, but I will... What are these guys? Uh... I'm getting me excited, huh? <laughs> I thought, ooh. Is there something going on here? Okay. Where are the Cola Wars? What is on this side? Yeah, it's on this side. Okay. Okay. Uh, since it spawned, we have the amoral quest, combat quest. So let us save this. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. So the first one was uh, the guy came in equipped with a uh, assault rifle. I think you're going to want to get out of here. What was that supposed to be? Okay, let us go... Because we do a lot more damage when we're in sneak. Oh! Wretch! <laughs> Whoa! He is wearing what? Is this his armor? Bottle cap, fusion, nuka grenade, steam pack. What is he wearing? Oh, Raider Power Armor. Sorry, bud. Whoa. Okay. Uh... So now we go back out to the Commonwealth. We need to teleport out to the Commonwealth, drop off the items we picked up. Oh, you know what? Let's save it again. All these transitioning through doors. I think uh, I've seen many uh, crashes when we are transitioning from zone to zone. So it's always a good idea to save it. Especially right now, we're in the tail end of the game and we have so much items collected all over. So I think maybe the computer is, the PS4 is keeping having having to keep track of all the junk that we have accumulated and uh, might must be taxing the system. I'm such a pack rat, you know, I should, I should actually go and start scrapping all of those stuff. Okay, so Nuka World. Uh, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.